I don't want to do anything that doesn't feel worthy of my soul. I think this is where a lot of us um, avoid doing business activities, particularly marketing. We have this intuitive sense that it's not worthy of our soul. Like, how can we possibly spend our precious life energy doing marketing? Like, sure, it gets us clients. And maybe once we have our ideal clients and we're working with our ideal clients, then it feels worthy of the soul. But the marketing part of it, <clears throat> the means to an end, it's not worth it. It's not meaningful. It's not soulful. This is what got me years ago to start experimenting and exploring with what the heck is authentic marketing. Can I possibly do marketing that is worthy of the soul? That is worth the ener precious life energy that I'm giving, you know, hours a week to this. And I experimented and discovered that yes, I can. And not only can I do it, it's actually effective for getting clients as well. So let me explain. I call it authentic marketing. You can call it anything you want. And authentic marketing is essentially the, the, the process of, a, of an authentic business. You know, basically you want to, wouldn't it be great to make a living, make an income, a good income, uh, doing what you love? doing what comes from your soul, doing what's deeply meaningful, okay? So the process of you discovering what that is, is authentic marketing. Why? Because in order, I mean, you could do what you love in a hobby, right? I mean, hobbies, do what you love all day long in your own home, that's fine. But it doesn't make you any money. To make money means other people have to be willing to give you money, right? Because otherwise you don't have any money. Other people have to be willing to give you money. And other people, their willingness to give you money is marketing, is the, the, the process of discovering what they want to give you money for and then having them give you money is marketing, is marketing. But then authentic marketing is the process of you exploring and, exp and expressing your energy signature and noticing of all your authentic expressions what makes money. That's authentic marketing. It's grounded in this idea of energy signature. And what I mean by that is all of your ways of expressing yourself, how your face looks if you're on video, how your voice sounds uh, if you're on video or podcast, how your words are formed, your ideas, how they come out, um, whether you're writing or making video or recording a podcast or writing a sales page, all of that is your authentic energy signature. If you aren't just following some copywriter or following someone's formula, but you are genuinely exploring your grounded truth, that's your energy signature. How you express that, especially when you have done some self-care and you feel well-being, and then now you're expressing yourself authentically, that's your energy signature. However it comes out in writing, even the font type you choose, the colors you happen to really love and decide to choose on your website, not because of someone told you you need to have these colors, but you genuinely love them, okay? That's your energy signature. Even your name is part of your energy signature. Have you ever encountered someone whose name you just like, right? I don't know, maybe they remind you of someone you, you, uh, you used to be friends with or remind you of someone you really admire, whatever. Even your name is part of your energy signature. And so you're, you're, you know, some people call it personal brand. And I think personal brand is fine, but I, it's kind of businessy. I like to use the term energy signature because it suggests that it's radiating from your soulfulness. And it is. That's the point. Your willingness to experiment and express your soul publicly is your energy signature. But here's the thing, most people aren't willing. And that's where you have the opportunity. 
most people are scared to share themselves authentically publicly. I understand. It can be embarrassing. It's vulnerable. You can sometimes get mean comments that will discourage you, make you want to crawl into a ball and cry or go get therapy. It's vulnerable. It takes courage, heart energy to be willing to experiment with what authentic expression is for you publicly. And also, by the way, energy signature, right? It, it also includes your genuine desire to connect with your, uh, with your kindred spirits. Because an energy signature is, is not making its, it's not fulfilling its purpose unless it's touching somebody, unless it's resonating with somebody, your ideal, your kindred spirits, the people that you most, your, I call them your soulmate audience, okay? So your willingness to express, experiment and express your public authenticity, therefore to explore your energy signature, is what makes you really powerful. And it what's, it's what makes your marketing, so-called, stand out above everyone else's around you. Not that you're better than them, but that you're truly unique and nobody can replace you. So, go for it. It's your, it's your day. It's your opportunity today to experiment with something publicly. It has to be public, otherwise the energy signature is not doing, that's not fulfilling its purpose. You're pinging out there, but no one is receiving your ping. No one's even noticing your ping. No, one's, no one even knows that you, you, no one has the opportunity to receive your energy signature, then it's not, it's not fulfilled. Go out today on video, on writing, in your podcast, in your images, on your website, whatever, or just through your one-on-one -on -one connection with people. Go out today and really experiment with expressing your authentic caring, your grounded truth, and see how it goes. It's going to take a lot of experimentations to feel into this is real and true for me and it also resonates with them. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you for joining me on this journey.